As I organize and reset the studio for the new year, I thought I would take a moment and share with you some of the supplies that you're going to see coming on the channel that I got for Christmas. So just a few things that were art and studio related. Uh, for starters, I got this little device. And this is used for making circles and, and things like that. It's a it's just a type of compass. And I was excited about that. Lou got me that. Uh, here is a silver black velvet. This is a quarter inch striper brush. And you guys can see that and it's a silver black velvet. So you guys know I am thrilled. I cannot wait to use this one. Uh, this was a little, it, uh, the Stone Ground Paint Company. And that is, look at the metallic, look at the shimmer in that. Love it. So we will be trying that out. And then of course, this little palette by Meaden. I love the, love ceramic palettes. And this is going to be perfect for either putting some new paints in or mixing some paints. Uh, that is definitely in, look at the size, the size on the desk. It's just like, it's great. These were a set of, uh, pens that Lou got me. These were by Kurataki and these are the Bimoji. They come as a set of five and they vary in sizes. And I cannot wait to test these out and see if they are waterproof. Of course, I could use Google Translate, but I can't read anything other than to tell you that that is 0.3 to a one millimeter. This one will do a 0.5 to a 1.5. Then you have 0.6 to a three, 0.5 to an eight, and a one to a five millimeter. So varying strokes. I, I'm really looking forward. Kurtaki, the brand that brought us the Ganzai Tambi watercolors. Um, yeah, I can't wait to try these out and use them and see how I like them. I love the little loops. You can just like hang them or anyhow. I'm sure that they probably use these like calligraphy brushes. I'm not that good at calligraphy, <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward to using these. I am really hoping that these are waterproof. Do you have these? Uh, do you love them? What do you use them for most often? Drop me a comment and let me know to help give me some ideas of how I can use them in the studio. So I got that set of five uh, brush pens, pens, I don't know. Anyways, and then he got me the Soho Urban Artist, uh, these are the set of 48. I have been wanting to try these because I loved the metallic, the Calero metallic paints that I had used for doing some card making. And I thought, you know what? I would love some other metallic paints just to do some little shimmery or sparkly accents on maybe some other cards. And so Lou got me this set. It was on my wish list. In fact, he bought this for me twice. So the second set I sent back and I'm just waiting for the credit to hit my Amazon account. And then I'm going to use that in my gift card and I have to narrow down the selection. You know, the cart is full, but I have to narrow down the selection for what this and my gift card will cover. So there will be another video. And then I got gift cards for my birthday um, and Christmas that I'm just combining. So I will do another haul, uh, haul video when all of that stuff comes in. But there are a few things that were on my list or that I would love to give a try that I didn't get, but that's what I'm going to get with my, with my gift cards. So I can't wait to test this out. And then this, my parents got me one of the large meat in studio palettes that I have been wanting. So this one has the lid. Now these lids don't, they don't seal on there. So it's not going to be like a palette you, unless you wanted it to dry down. If it was like wash, you wanted to stay wet. You're not going to put that in a palette like this. You're going to want to use this for watercolor and something that 
can dry down because this lid, which is just a hard plastic, I have plans for this lid since it doesn't seal. And most of the time I will probably keep this palette. Um, I'm look how big that is. It takes up the whole screen guys. This is certainly something that, I mean, I need a bigger table so I can get my camera further away so that we have a wider shot because maybe future me when future me has a fancy studio we'll be able to do something like that but this palette i love because it has wider wells up here and then the wells that come around the side and then you see this handy little spot this if you notice here this comes down so you can fill your palette and if you wanted to wash your surface in here you know i guess you some people would want to do that. Every now and then I clean the surface of my ceramic palettes too, just because I don't have enough and I want to do a video and I'm like, I need a clean palette for colors I'm using that day. And then I end up having to wipe off one of them. Well, when you go to wash this palette, you can wash this. It won't get into your paints because there's a lip here. And then any water that you have on here can pour off into this spot and you can literally just pour it right out of um, your palette and wipe it off and it's nice and clean. This is heavy. Um, it is porcelain. I can't wait to mix on this. I'm trying to decide what colors are going to have the honor of going in this big studio palette. It was another one that I wanted. This one and the one that looks like a big, um, it looks like a big clock. It's a big circle uh, and it's a square palette where this is rectangular. That's one of the other ones of the larger ceramic palettes that I wanted. Both of them by Meaden. And um, yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll get the other one with gift cards, but I have to I have to decide what's going in here. Um, isn't that always the hardest part? Do you guys do that? Drop me a comment below and let me know. Do you get new palettes and you're like, it's so precious. You just don't know which paints are going to go in there. And then it sits empty for like quite a while. Oh, and speaking of, I knew, I was like, there's something else I got and I couldn't find it, but I remember and I know where it is. In addition to this palette, Lou got me this palette by Meaden. It was like my year of Meaden because I got my little palette from Meaden, this big palette from Meaden, and I am absolutely loving the supplies that I'm getting from Meaden. I am like so thrilled with the quality of their products. Lou got me this one and let me just show you. This is an airtight. I could put gouache in here. Um, it does have a seal that goes around. I love the wells on this one, the way that they set in there. I haven't decided. Again, it's one of those, what do I, what do I put in it? Not sure. But let me just show you some of the, the features that I love about this palette. This part here, pretty sure I'm, as I mess up my mess up my nails, I don't know if this part comes out. It looks like it might come out at where you would be able to mix in the base. But I know that this one, the top, this actually does lift out. Now it's plastic. I am not sure how this is going to be. Will it beat up? Will it not? I don't know. We're going to try it. But I can take this and set them side by side. And again, don't mind the glare of the things above. I'm going to try to tip it a little bit. Um, I could set these beside me and it would, you see that it is larger than the palette below it. Uh, that would take up a lot of space in the studio. But it does give me, you know, when I put it down like this, it uh, gives me some great mixing. And I'm hoping that maybe this can flip around so that... I don't know. Would I want my wells this way or turned the other way? I don't know. I think that that is just pops in there. Um, yeah, it does. Right. So that can come out. We have space here, um, which means that, yes, I can, if I prefer it the other direction, I could turn it this way. So it was facing this and they just pop right back in. And there we go, who knows? Do I like it that way? Do I like it the other way? I won't know until I start using it, but I have options. So there is the other palette. I could use this for gouache. Um, I'd have to look and see like, how big is my gouache collection now of like artist grade gouache and what I wanna put it all in here. I think I have some colors that would be kind of duplicating, 
but you see how that's almost like segmented. I could do like by brands or something. I'm seeing like segments showing up in here. I don't know, but I love it. It holds, it has, um, 33, 33 wells, deep slanted two areas for mixing and it will maintain the moisture. It's lightweight, leak proof, detachable mixing tray. You know, it says ideal. It says ideal for kinds of field trip. So I'm guessing, you know, they're trying to say like for plain air painting. This is a little big. I don't think I'd be taking this plain air painting. This is a monster. This is definitely something I'm going to use in the studio and I'm going to love it. Um, 33 colors. I might just have to look and see how many Daniel Smith colors do I have now? And would they all fit in here? Do I have 33? Um, do I have empty wells? If I do that, maybe I can add some new colors. I don't know, but yeah, I'm going to be trying to decide. Let me know. Do you guys have a hard time deciding when you get new palettes, what the heck is going to go in them? I have a couple that are this, um, style, but not like the inside of this one. This one had those nice, um, deep wells. Like if I take, this is a size 12 brush. I can really get in there with a size 12 brush without feeling like I'm going to be damaging the tip of that brush. Like you would in say a little tiny half pan, you know, you're trying to get the color out of that or trying to get the color out of this, which is why these were on my wish list for my studio. Look at that. I wanted something that I could easily get a brush into without damaging the tips of my brush, you know, by repeatedly having to come at it with the tip of it because the well was so tiny. I think I want to move away from little half pans and move into something like this, which is another reason why I have been loving the Gansai Tambi paints because look how big those palettes are. Or those, you know, the, um, those pans are in relation to the larger pans. You can see, you know, it's pretty, this is going to hold more. Um, but then like these on the sides, the width wise, they're very similar. Um, they're not quite, not quite as wide. You see where it kind of stops there, but oh my gosh. That is more than enough space. So I absolutely love this. I understand that not everybody might have, you know, that everybody might not have the room to have something like this in their workspace. But if you do, I'm going to put links in the description below to everything that um, I have shared with you, because if it is something you're interested in, I definitely recommend if you want to shop meet in shop with them directly. They have a very low threshold for like free shipping with orders. And it's, it's very easy to meet, much easier than like Blicker or any of the other um, major art supply uh, stores that you can shop on online. With code CLARK10, that is a capital C-L-A-R-K, the number 10, uh, you can get a discount with Meet-In. And I have a link in the description. And if you use that link, uh, meet and gives us a little thank you for you shopping with them. And they give you a thank you by giving you a discount with our code or with my code. I say our, like I have a mouse in my pocket, but to anyhow. Um, so yeah, if you, anything meet and interests you, look how adorable this little palette is. It's so cute. It's so tiny, plenty of mixing area though. And again, the ability to get those brushes in there. I'm going to be using a lot more of this style. Uh, in fact, there are other meet in palettes on my wish list that you might see in the near future because some of my gift cards that are not like, I only got one that was Amazon specific. All the others were like a uh, visa or whatever. And as soon as I can figure out how I can use them all together, um, I might have to call meet in to see if they can, you can't on the website, you can't like, split your payment um, between multiple cards, which I wish you could, because then I could use all my gift cards and just order it all there. But I'm going to give them a call because maybe I can do that over the phone. Regardless, I'm turning in my, my gift cards into some more palettes and some other fun stuff. 
and I will have that here on the channel soon. Uh, I did get some supplies for the studio. Let's take a look at those. It's this A3 size guillotine paper cutter. I love this. I have been wanting one of these for so long. I've just had that tiny slide cutter that you guys have seen me use many times. I'm excited. I can't wait to use this. And uh, yeah, it's going to help me making my own blocks. Just cutting larger sheets down for doing quick videos on YouTube. Uh, anything that is become scrap paper that I want to cut parts off of, there's, I, I'm going to use the heck out of this. I am so excited about this paper cutter. I also got this wonderful gimbal that will hold my phone. And I'm hoping that this will help me get some new and interesting shots for you. Um, I love it. It also has the light and AI tracking. So it would follow you if I use this for say headshots or even if I was painting in the studio, one of the options I'm considering is if it would track like my hand going from the work to the palette because I have such a small space that maybe that would help me get more in the shot for you. I don't know. It's all something I have to try out this year, but I am looking forward to that. It has a uh, tripod style or you can hold it like a regular gimbal for plein air or vlogging. And um, yeah, I've even tossed around the idea of maybe some studio vlogs. If that's something you'd like to see. Drop me a comment and let me know. Maybe I can do some more of those. Um, and just record little segments of like the week in the studio, what I've been up to. Anyhow, that's what I got for Christmas. I hope you got some things for, uh, as I try not to break it, some things that you are excited to use in your own art space and drop me a comment below. Did you get some art supplies for Christmas? If you did, what was your favorite supply? I don't know. I can't really decide if it's, if it's, Overall, my absolute favorite is definitely the gimbal. I am so looking forward to using that. Um, if it is art supplies for creating in the studio, I think it's my palettes. I think it's my palettes. Yeah, I can't choose just one. It's my palettes. <laughs> or maybe it's my silver black velvet brush. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but stay tuned in a video. Uh, real soon, we are going to uh, swatch these out and check out how much do they shimmer. And I'm going to try my new uh, says striper dagger. It's it's you see its shape right there very well. I can't wait to see how these work. Uh, Soho is a Jerry's Ararama. That's where you usually get that, and you can find it on Amazon. Again, I'm going to link to everything in the description below. Uh, but hey. Thanks for joining me. Drop me the comment. I can't wait to chat with you there. Um, what was your favorite? What was your favorite Christmas gift? I don't know. I think my favorite might not even be here yet. It might be something that I pick and have sent with the gift cards. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. But I'm going to pop another video up right about here that you might like to watch next. And until the next time, my friends, keep creating. And I'm going to see you in a video real soon. Bye, guys.